From the mysteries of the universe to the mysteries of the unknown, this is Mysterious Realms with Mr. Cyber. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Here is your host, Mr. Cyber. Hey everyone, it's me. I know it's been a, a long time, actually too long. Um, I know that in the last video that we, I'm oh sorry, that I actually posted, I told you all that I was going through some issues. Um, and that's why I have not been here in a while. Um, I've been going through uh, a pretty rough time every day since last year. Um, just my mental state hasn't been that great. Not in a bad way. Don't get me wrong. Just, um, I guess, rebalancing itself. Um, I'm going to get back to doing shows eventually, but I just wanted to say that I've, uh, I've actually started another channel, which is in the description below. Um, if you want to follow me on my journey to recovery, um, I know these videos are getting old of me talking about this, but I really want to stress the importance of benzodiazepines. And benzodiazepines are anything like Valium, Xanax, Clonopin, um, you name it. Benzos may seem like they work, which they do in the beginning, but they quickly turn on you. Um, since my last show, legitimate show that I've had, I've, I've lost like 45 pounds, um, just from everything I've been going through. I'm essentially in tolerance right now to my benzo, and I start planning on tapering in July and tapering unfortunately is not like another medicine where you can just stop and uh, um, get off of it within a week or two you know people that are going through like heroin withdrawal or opiate withdrawal yeah it's brutal and it's hell for a couple weeks but benzos are a whole different story um because essentially your whole body has these things called GABA receptors. And what benzos do is they calm you. Whether you're having an anxiety attack, a panic attack, etc. And the body adapts to this. And these GABA regulators, oh sorry, receptors, downregulate. Because they don't think they're needed anymore. Because you're taking a benzo. And I have been taking my benzo as prescribed. And this all started off with a case of insomnia. And unfortunately, it's um, turned into much more than I would have ever expected. I would have rather dealt with the insomnia 13 years ago than to go through what I'm going through currently. Um, and I'll, I'll be frank with you right now. I'm on 20 milligrams of Valium. When I went inpatient, I was poly drugged, <coughs> given all these different medications. And that's not a place you want to be. So I tapered off of something called gabapentin, um, which in itself is brutal. But I was like, you know what? I need to get off this. The fewer medications, the better. Um, I still take Zoloft 
but that's another beast. I'll deal with that later. But my volume taper from 20 milligrams is probably going to take two and a half years to get off of to be semi-functional. Um, but then once you're done with your taper, you're not done. It's not over. After that, you're looking at two years of your body healing. So I'm looking at probably four years of going through this. Um, there may be times I'm bed bound, can't function. I don't know, but it's really freaking scary. Um, and I'm just, I just wanted to use this platform to be open and it's an outlet for me. And I'm sure there's others out there that, um, have gone through similar experiences. And if you have, I would love to hear about it. Um, but my goal is to get some shows back under my belt because I need that type of therapy. And I know you all need some entertainment. Um, but that's where we are at the moment. Well, at least with me. Um, it's hard, y'all. It's, it's brutal. You know, taking a benzodiazepine one time is one thing, but when a doctor says, oh yeah, you, you can take these, there's nothing wrong with them, until finally, like a year ago, the FDA finally admitted to these problems and put a black box warning on all benzodiazepines. Um, doctors, well, yeah, they don't, they don't uh, have any bad uh, intentions because some people do need a benzo once in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is doctors know how to get you on a benzo but they have no idea how to get you off of a benzodiazepine. And um, I just want to show you something. This is... Um, this is essentially the Bible of how to get off benzodiazepines. It's in a book. Um with schedules and everything on how to properly taper these things because there's n it's no joke. The um, the withdrawal is everything. I mean, benzos affect every part of your body, your heart, your digestive system, your walking, your mental thoughts, um, everything. I mean, I still cry on a daily basis because I can't believe I'm going through this. Um <coughs> Withdrawal brings hallucinations, paranoia, rage, um, weakness, body jerks, you name it. It's freaking scary. And uh, Professor, sorry, Professor Ashton, Heather Ashton out of the UK, created this. And this is just a basic how to. Um, get off these things because they're so bad. Um, but I'm going to be doing a symptom tape based taper. And, you know, I don't want this little podcast to look like a sob story, but I just needed to talk about it and the consequences of it. The problems I face right now are POTS. Even though I'm still on a benzo, I have POTS and some tachycardia, and that means, you know, you're sitting down, relaxed, your heart rate's like 60, 65 beats per minute. As soon as I stand up, it goes to like 130, and it stays elevated. Um, but it gradually calms down, and that's because of what it does after long-term use, and you become tolerant to it. Could I increase my dose? Yes. Do I want to? No, because that's just prolonging the inevitable. Um, but I just wanted to be open with all of you 
about this. So that's that's what's been going on these past uh seems like endless now months. But um yeah, down in the description is the other channel if you want to follow my journey getting off these things and just be warned it's not pretty. And I haven't even started getting off of them yet. Um so you'll see my other side. But uh, I really appreciate y'all being here with me in Mysterious Realms. Um, and I, I love each and every one of you that tune into this channel. It really means a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. And if... Um, yeah, I mean, if you know anybody that's going through this, let me know. If you've experienced it, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, but like I promised you all before, I am going to get some shows back, um, as I can. And once I realize at the pace of my taper that keeps me steady and, you know, functioning properly, then we'll, uh, start doing more shows, uh, quite a bit. So that's what's been going on here. But like I said, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I mean, more than anything. So, um, I will talk to you all here soon. And um, whether you're religious or not, um, God bless each and every one of you. And I will uh, talk to you soon.